The Quran, A Complete Revelation, translated and read by Sam Garrens. Said the eminent ones who were proud among his people, We will turn thee, O Shu'aib, and those who heed warning with thee, out of our city, if you return not to our creed. He said, Even though we be unwilling, we should have invented a lie about God if we returned to your creed after God has delivered us from it. It is for us to return to it only if God, our Lord, should will. Our Lord comprehends all things in knowledge. In God have we placed our trust. Our Lord, decide thou between us and our people aright, for thou art the best of those who decide. And said the eminent ones who were indifferent to warning among his people, if you follow Shu'aib, you will then be the losers. Then the earthquake seized them, and morning found them lying prone in their dwelling, those who rejected Shu'aib, as though they had not lived therein. Those who rejected Shu'aib, it was they who were the losers. Then he turned from them and said, O my people, I have conveyed to you the messages of my Lord, and I have been a sincere counsellor to you, then how should I grieve for a people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue? And we sent to a city any prophet only to take its people with affliction and adversity that they might be humbled. Then we changed the place of evil for good until they increased and said, Adversity and prosperity did touch our fathers, and we took them unawares, when they perceived not. And had the people of the cities believed, and been in prudent fear, we would have opened upon them blessings from the sky and from the earth. But they rejected, so we seized them for what they earned. Did then the people of the cities feel secure from the coming of our might upon them by night while they slept? Or did the people of the cities feel secure from the coming of our might upon them at midday while they played? Did they feel secure from the plan of God? And none feels secure from the plan of God, save the losing people. Does it not guide those who inherit the land after its people, that if we willed we would strike them for their transgressions, and we seal their hearts so they hear not? Those are the cities, some of whose reports we narrate to thee. And their messengers had come to them with clear evidence, but they were not to believe in what they had rejected before. Thus does God seal the hearts of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And we found not for most of them any pledge, but we found most of them wantonly perfidious. Then raised we up after them Musa with our proofs to Fir'aun and his eminent ones, but they wronged them. Then see thou how was the final outcome of the workers of corruption. And Musa said, O Fir'aun, I am a messenger from the Lord of all mankind, approved in that I ascribe not to God save the truth. I have come to you with clear evidence from your Lord, so send thou with me the children of Israel. Said he, If thou hast brought proof, bring thou it, if thou be of those who speak the truth. And he cast his staff, and then was it a clear serpent. And he drew forth his hand, and then was it white for the beholders. Said the eminent ones of the people of Fir'aun, This is a learned sorcerer. He would turn you out of your land. What then do you command? They said, Delay thou him and his brother, and send thou into the town's gatherers, to bring to thee every learned sorcerer. And the sorcerers came to Fir'aun. They said, there should be a reward for us if we be the victors. Said he, Yea, and you will be of those brought near. They said, O Musa, wilt thou cast, or will we be the ones who cast? He said, Cast. And when they cast, 
they bewitched the eyes of the people and put fear into them and produced a tremendous sorcery. And we instructed Musa, cast thou thy staff, and then it swallowed up what they falsified, and the truth was established, and what they did made vain. Thereupon were they defeated, and turned about, brought low. And the sorcerers fell in submission. They said, We believe in the Lord of all mankind, the Lord of Musa and Harun. Said Firaun, You believe in him before I gave you leave. This is a scheme you schemed in the town that you might turn out its people. But you will come to know. I will cut off your hands and your feet on alternate sides. Then will I put you to death upon a stake altogether. They said, We are being returned to our Lord. Thou resentest us only that we believed in the proofs of our Lord when they came to us. Our Lord, pour thou out patience upon us and take thou us as ones submitted. And the eminent ones among the people of Firaun said, Wilt thou leave Musa and his people to work corruption in the land and leave thee and thy gods? Said he, We will kill their sons and spare their women, for we have them in subjection. And Musa said to his people, Seek help in God and be patient. The earth belongs to God. He gives it for an inheritance to whom he wills among his servants. And the final outcome is for those of prudent fear, they said. We were hindered before thou camest to us, and since thou hast come to us, said he, it may be that your Lord will destroy your enemy and make you successors in the earth, so he might see how you do. And we seized the house of Firaun with drought and loss of crops, that they might take heed. And when good came to them, they said, This is ours, and if evil befell them, they saw an omen in Musa and those with him. In truth, their omen was but with God, but most of them knew not. And they said, Whatever proof thou bring wherewith to bewitch us, we will not believe thee. And we sent upon them the flood, and the locusts, and the lice, and the frogs, and the blood. Proofs set out and detailed. But they were proud, and they were an evil-doing people. And when the scourge came upon them, they said, O Musa, call thou to thy Lord for us, because he has a pact with thee. If thou remove the scourge from us, we will believe thee and send the children of Israel with thee. But when we removed the scourge from them to a term they were to reach, then they reneged, and we took retribution from them and drowned them in the sea, because they repudiated our proofs and were heedless of them. And we caused the people who were despised to inherit the east of the land and its west, which we had blessed. And the most fair word of thy Lord was fulfilled to the children of Israel, because they were patient. And we annihilated what Firaun and his people wrought, and what they built. And we passed the children of Israel through the sea, and they came upon a people devoted to things fashioned, which they had. They said, O Musa, make thou for us a god like they have gods. He said, You are a people in ignorance. These doomed to ruin is what they are in, and vain is what they did. He said, Am I to seek for you a god other than God, when he has favoured you above all mankind? And when we delivered you from the house of Firaun, they were afflicting you with an evil punishment, killing your sons and sparing your women, and in that was a tremendous trial from your Lord. And we appointed for Musa thirty knights, and completed them with ten, and he completed the appointed time of his Lord of forty nights. And Musa said to his brother Harun, Be thou my successor among my people, and do thou right, and follow thou not the way of the workers of corruption. And when Musa came to our appointed time, and his Lord spoke to him, he said, My Lord, show thou me that I might look upon thee. Said he, Thou wilt not see me, but look thou upon the mountain. 
If it should remain in its place, then wilt thou see me. And when his Lord was revealed upon the mountain, he made it level, and Musa fell down thunderstruck. Then when he recovered, he said, Glory be unto thee, I turn to thee repentant, and I am the first of the believers. He said, O Musa, I have chosen thee above mankind by my messages and by my speech. Hold thou to what I have given thee, and be thou among the grateful. And we wrote for him on the tablets every sort of thing, as an exhortation and an explanation for everything. Hold thou them fast, and command thou thy people to take the best thereof. I will show thee the abode of the wantonly perfidious. I will divert from my proofs those who are proud in the earth without cause. And if they see every proof, believe in it not. And if they see the way of sound judgment, take it not as a way. And if they see the way of error, take it as a way, because they repudiate our proofs and are heedless of them. And those who repudiate our proofs and the meeting of the hereafter, their works are vain. Will they be requited, save for what they did? And the people of Musa, while he was away, took up a calf out of their ornaments as a body that load. Did they not consider that it spoke not to them nor guided them to a way? They took it up and were wrongdoers. And when their hands were brought low, and they saw that they had gone astray, they said, If our Lord have not mercy on us and forgive us, we will be among the losers. And when Musa returned to his people, wrathful and grieved, he said, Evil is what you took up while I was away. Would you hasten the command of your Lord? And he cast down the tablets, and seized his brother by the head, dragging him towards him, said he, Son of my mother, the people despised me and would have killed me. Then caused thou not our enemies to gloat over my misfortune, nor placed thou me with the wrongdoing people. He said, My Lord, have thou mercy upon me and upon my brother, and enter thou us into thy mercy, and thou art the most merciful of those who show mercy. Those who have taken up the calf, there will reach them wrath from their Lord, and humiliation in the life of this world. And thus we requite the forgers. But those who do evil then repent after that, and believe to them after that is your Lord forgiving, merciful. And when the wrath had calmed within Musa, he took up the tablets, and in their inscription were guidance and mercy for those who fear their Lord. And Musa chose of his people seventy men for our appointed time, then when the earthquake seized them, he said, My Lord, if thou hadst willed, thou wouldst have destroyed them and me before. Wilt thou destroy us for what the foolish among us did? It is but thy means of denial. Thou sendest whom thou wilt astray, and guidest whom thou wilt. Thou art our ally, so forgive thou us, and have thou mercy on us. And thou art the best of those who forgive. And ordain thou for us good in this world, and in the hereafter, we have returned to thee. He said, I strike with my punishment whom I will, but my mercy encompasses all things. I will ordain it for those of prudent fear, and who give the purity, and those who believe in our proofs. Those who follow the messenger, the unschooled prophet, whom they find written with them in the Torah and the Gospel, enjoining on them what is fitting, and forbidding them perversity, and making lawful for them the good things, and making unlawful for them the bad, and relieving them of their burden and the fetters that were upon them, those who believed in him, and supported him, and helped him, and followed the light which was sent down with him, these are the successful. Say thou, O mankind, I am the messenger of God to you altogether, 
of him to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. There is no God save he. He gives life and he gives death. So believe in God and his messenger, the unschooled prophet who believes in God and his words and follow him that you might be rightly guided. And among the people of Musa is a community which guides aright and does justice thereby. And we divided them into twelve tribes as communities. And we instructed Musa when his people asked him for water, Strike thou with thy staff the rock. And there gushed therefrom twelve springs. Each tribe knew its drinking place. And we caused the cloud to overshadow them, and sent down upon them manna and quail. Eat of the good things that we provided you. And they wronged us not, but they wronged their souls. And when it was said to them, Dwell in this city, and eat freely of what you will, and say, A mitigation, and enter the gate in submission, we will forgive you your errors, we will increase the doers of good, then those who did wrong among them changed the saying to other than what was said to them. So we sent upon them a scourge from the sky, because they did wrong. And ask thou them about the city that was by the sea, when they transgressed the Sabbath, when their fish came to them on the Sabbath day, on the surface, and the day which was not a Sabbath day they came not to them. Thus did we try them, because they were wantonly perfidious. And when a community among them said, Why exhort you a people whom God will destroy or punish with a severe punishment? They said, As justification before your Lord, and that they might be in prudent fear. And when they forgot that whereof they had been reminded, we delivered those who forbade evil, and seized those who did wrong with a miserable punishment because they were wantonly perfidious. And when they scorned what they had been forbidden, we said to them, Be despised apes. And when thy Lord proclaims that he will raise up against them till the day of resurrection, him who will afflict them with an evil punishment, ellipsis, it will surely come to pass. To continue, thy Lord is swift in retribution, and he is forgiving, merciful. And we divided them in the earth as communities. Among them are the righteous, and among them are other than that. And we tried them with good things and evil, that they might return. And there followed after them successors, who inherited the law, taking the goods of this fleeting life, and saying, It will be forgiven us. And if there come to them goods the like thereof, they take them. Has there not been taken from them an agreement to the law, that they ascribe not to God save the truth, and that they study what is therein? And the abode of the hereafter is better for those of prudent fear. Will you then not use reason? And those who hold fast the law and uphold the duty, we waste not the wages of those who do right. And when we raised the mountain above them, as if it were a canopy, and they supposed it was to fall upon them, ellipsis, but we held it fast, to continue, hold fast what we give you, and remember what is therein, that you might be in prudent fear. And when thy Lord brought forth from the children of Adam, from their backs, their progeny, and made them bear witness against themselves, Am I not your Lord? They said, Verily we bear witness, lest you say on the day of resurrection of this were we unaware, or you say, Our fathers but ascribed a partnership before, and we were progeny after them. Wilt thou then destroy us for what those who follow vanity did? And thus we set out and detail the proofs, and that they might return. And recite thou unto them the report of him to whom we gave our proofs. But he detached himself from them. So the shaitan followed him. And he was among the misguided. 
and had we willed, we would have raised him by them, but he clung to the earth and followed his vain desire. His example is like the example of a dog. If thou win him over, he pants, or if thou leave him, he pants. That is the example of the people who repudiate our proofs, but narrate thou to them the narratives that they might reflect. Evil, as an example, are the people who repudiate our proofs, and they have wronged their souls. Whom God guides, he is rightly guided, and whom God sends astray, these are the losers. And we have sown for hell many among the jinn and mankind. They have hearts wherewith they understand not, and they have eyes wherewith they see not, and they have ears wherewith they hear not. These are like the cattle, nay, they are further astray. These are the heedless, and to God belong the fairest names. Then call to him by them, and leave those who deviate concerning his names. They will be rewarded for what they did. And among those we created is a community, guiding a right and doing justice thereby. And those who repudiate our proofs, we will deal with them by degrees without them knowing, while I reprieve them. My plan is firm. Have they not reflected? There is no madness in their companion. He is only a clear warner. Have they not considered the dominion of the heavens and the earth and what things God has created and that it may be that their term has drawn nigh? And in what narration after this will they believe? Whom God sends astray, there is no guide for him and he leaves them wandering blindly in their inordinacy. They ask thee about the hour, when is its arrival, say thou. Knowledge thereof is but with my Lord, none reveals its time, save he. It weighs heavily in the heavens and the earth, it comes not upon you, save unexpectedly. They question thee, as though thou wert privy thereto, say thou, knowledge thereof is but with God, but most men know not. Say thou, I have no power to do myself benefit or harm, save that God should will. And had I knowledge of the unseen, I would have abundance of wealth, and evil would not have touched me. I am only a warner and bearer of glad tidings for people who believe. He it is who created you from a single soul, and he created therefrom its mate, that it might be reassured thereby. Then, when he covers her, she bears a light load and passes it by. And when it becomes heavy, they call to God their Lord. If thou give us one healthy, we will be among the grateful. And when he gives them one healthy, they appoint him partners in what he gave them. But exalted is God above that to which they ascribe a partnership. Ascribe they a partnership to what creates not anything but they are created, and they are not able to help them, nor do they help themselves. And if you invite them to the guidance, they follow you not. It is the same to you, whether you call to them or are silent. Those to whom you call, other than God, are servants like you. So call them, and let them respond to you, if you be truthful. Have they legs wherewith they walk? Or have they hands wherewith they hold? Or have they eyes wherewith they see? Or have they ears wherewith they hear? Say thou, call your partners, then scheme against me and grant me no respite. My ally is God who sent down the law, and he is an ally to the righteous. And those to whom you call other than him are unable to help you, nor do they help themselves. And if you invite them to guidance, they hear not, and thou seest them looking at thee, but they see not. Take thou what is freely given, and enjoin thou what is customary, and turn thou away from the ignorant. 
And if there provoke thee a provocation to evil from the shaitan, seek thou protection in God. He is hearing, knowing. Those who are in prudent fear, when a visitation from the shaitan touches them, they take heed, and then do they see. When their brethren assist them in error, then do they not cease. And when thou bringest them not a proof, they say, O oh, that thou hadst but chosen one. Say thou, I but follow what I am instructed of my Lord. This is a means of insight from your Lord and guidance and mercy for people who believe. And when the Qur'an is read out, heed it and listen attentively that you might obtain mercy. And remember thou thy Lord within thy soul in humility and fear and without publicity of speech morning and evening. And be thou not among the heedless. Those who are in the presence of thy Lord are not too proud for his service, and they glorify him, and to him they submit. Chapter 8 In the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful. They ask thee about the spoils of war. Say thou, The spoils of war are for God and the Messenger. So be in prudent fear of God and do right in what is between you and obey God and his messenger if you be believers. The believers are but those who, when God is remembered, their hearts are afraid and when his proofs are recited to them, they increase in faith and in their Lord place their trust. Those who uphold the duty and spend of what we have provided them, these are the believers in truth. They have degrees in the sight of their Lord and pardon and noble provision. Like as thy Lord brought thee forth from thy house aright, and some of the believers were averse, arguing with thee about the truth after it had become clear, as if they were being driven to death when they were looking on. And when God promised you one of the two groups that it would be yours, and you loved that the unarmed one might be yours, and God willed to establish the truth by his words and to cut off the root of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, that he might establish the truth and bring vanity to nothing, though the evildoers be averse. When you sought succour of your Lord, and he responded to you, I will assist you with a thousand angels following one after another. And God made it only as glad tidings, and that your hearts might find rest thereby, and there is no help save from God. God is mighty, wise. When he made slumber overcome you as security from him, and sent down water from the sky upon you, that he might purify you thereby, and remove from you the scourge of the shaitan, and that he might fortify your hearts, and make firm thereby your feet. When thy Lord gave instruction to the angels, I am with you, so make firm those who heed warning, I will cast terror into the hearts of those who are indifferent to warning. Strike above the necks and strike from them every fingertip, because they were hostile towards God and his messenger. And whoso is hostile towards God and his messenger, God is severe in retribution. That, taste it. And because for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is the punishment of fire. O oh, you who heed warning, when you meet those who are indifferent to warning, advancing, turn not your backs to them. And whoso that day turns his back to them, save as a manoeuvre for battle or joining a company, he has incurred wrath from God, and his habitation is hell, and evil is the journey's end. And you killed them not, but God killed them, and thou threwest not when thou didst throw, but God threw. And that he might test the believers by a fair test from him, ellipsis, he required you to fight. To continue, God is hearing, knowing. That, ellipsis, taste it. To continue. And because God makes weak the plan of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, 
if you seek decision, the decision has come to you, and if you cease, it is better for you. But if you return, we will return, and your company will avail you nothing, though it be numerous. And because God is with the believers, O you who heed warning, obey God and his messenger, and turn not away from him when you hear, and be not as those who say, We hear, and they hear not. The worst of beasts in the sight of God are the deaf, the dumb, those who do not reason. And had God known any good in them, he would have made them hear. And had he made them hear, they would have turned away, and they are disinclined. O oh, you who heed warning, respond to God and the messenger when he calls you to what gives you life. And know that God stands between a man and his heart, and that to him you will be gathered. And be ye in prudent fear of a means of denial, not to befall those who do wrong among you exclusively. And know that God is severe in retribution. And remember, when you were few and despised in the land, fearing lest men should sweep you away, he gave you refuge and strengthened you with his help and provided you some good things that you might be grateful. O oh, you who heed warning, betray not God and his messenger, or betray your trusts, and you know. And know that your wealth and your children are but a means of denial, and that with God is a tremendous reward. O oh, you who heed warning, if you be in prudent fear of God, he will make for you a division and remove from you your evil and forgive you. God is one possessing tremendous bounty. And when those who are indifferent to warning scheme against thee to restrain thee or to kill thee or to drive thee out, and they scheme, and God schemes, and God is the best of schemers. And when our proofs are recited to them, they say, we have heard, if we wished we could speak the like of this. This is only the legends of former peoples. And when they say, O oh God, if this be the truth from thee, rain thou down upon us stones from the sky, or bring thou us a painful punishment. But God will not punish them when thou art among them, and God will not punish them when they will seek forgiveness. But how can they not be punished by God when they forsake the inviolable place of worship and are not its allies? Its allies are only those of prudent fear, but most of them no, not, when their duty at the house is only whistling and clapping. So taste the punishment for what you denied. Those who are indifferent to warning spend their wealth on forsaking the path of God. So will they spend it. Then will it become a sorrow for them. Then will they be defeated. And those who are indifferent to warning will be gathered into hell that God might separate the bad from the good. And the bad will he place one upon another and heap it all together and place it in hell. These are the losers. Say thou to those who are indifferent to warning, if they cease what is past is forgiven them, but if they return, the practice of the former peoples has gone before and fight them until there is no means of denial and the doctrine is entirely for God. And if they cease, God sees what they do. And if they turn away, know that God is your benefactor. Excellent is the benefactor and excellent is the helper.